Hello fellow gamers, Peter here from the Esoteric Order of Gamers with a look at another Games Workshop Warhammer Age of Sigma starter set. This one comes with two nice little armies to get you started if you want to get into this game or if you want to augment an existing army or start a new army. In this one we've got the Disciples of Cinch, Lord of Change, and the Lumineth Lords who are kind of elves. Well they are elves really, but there's an A in front of them, so elves. Yeah, so let's have a look inside the box. And of course, Games Workshop sent me this set free to show to you. So as always, these uh, boxes are a little bit flimsy, but they're not really used for storage. They're just for putting, you know, the miniatures in. So uh, that's not a huge problem. And of course, when we open it up, we see piles and piles of plastic. Here it is. Now, in this one, you've got on the uh, Lumineth side, you've got five Veneri Blade Lords, five Veneri Dawn Riders, 10 Veneri Aurelian Sentinels, or Aurelian Sentinels, 3 Sangor Enlightened for the Cinch, and those are on discs of Cinch, these ones here, so they're just floating. Uh, there are also 10 Zangors and 20 Karik Acolytes. Ah, oh, it's all a bit of a tongue twister, these things. But there's quite a lot of figures in here, um, and it actually took me quite a while to build them. As you can see, usual piece of card separating the miniatures from everything else. Lots and lots of bases. You've got your core rules book. We get these in every one of these little starter sets. A lovely little compact sized rule book for the Age of Sigma rules. Then of course you've got your unit cards and the campaign information and things like that. Here are our unit cards. And these are a bit strange because quite a few of these are kind of um, double ones that you open up. You can see here for the uh, Karik Acolytes, it's opened up, but there is actually nothing on the second page. I'm not sure quite why they did that. But anyway, there's the information about those guys. The Sangor Host, again, just a little bit of text on the second page. It seems a little bit clunky, but I suppose, you know, you've got to fit all that information on there. Here are our Sentinels which of course are uh, armed with bows. And the Dawn Riders, who are lovely mounted figures. These look great. I've built up all these figures so you can see them a bit later on. These Sangor Enlightened, as I said, are on uh, discs, so they're floating along on weird discs of cinch. The Cursling, which is a, a new figure. Blade Lords for the uh, Lumineth. And this Enlightener is also a new figure as well for the Lumineth. Here's our book to put it all together, all our instructions. There's a sheet of counters and measuring sticks if you want. And then we've got our campaign book, Arcane Cataclysm, which uh, details the meeting between these two forces. So here's our Arcane Cataclysm book. And in here we have a nice bit of information about uh, the Lumineth Lords and the Cinch. Uh, which are, in this case are a kind of um, band of uh, change worshippers called the Sons of Quintessence. And they're going out into um, Hirsch or Hish. I, you know, how do you pronounce these things? I don't know. Hish, I guess it is. H-Y-S-H, -H, which are these lands here. And they're sort of going along over here to find a cache of... Um, ancient artifacts, Lumineth artifacts. And the interesting thing about this land is that there are Lumineth runes, huge ones actually scored into the land uh, that sort of keep the lands together and stop them from fracturing. So uh, interesting kind of background there. Anyway, so the Lumineth are after them and uh, this is uh, the cause of the clashes in this particular little campaign. When I say campaign, it's, you know, three battle plans. It's hardly huge, but that's a nice way to try out the miniatures in this set. So... Nice art, as you can see. So this tells you all about the Lumineth Realm Lords. And then we've got the Disciples of Cinch. And we've got this Changeling, which is a new figure. And as you can see, uh, this thing is kind of sprouting out of him. This horrific creature, which started off in classic form as just, you know, a little head coming out or maybe just an eye. And then it was a head and then this whole sort of torso sprouted out of him, which would be charming, wouldn't it? You'd want to get that removed early on, I think. Um, anyway, this is the thing that kind of whispered to him the secrets of where this uh, cache of artefacts was, and that's why the Sons of Quintessence went off to, to find it. So here are our figures. You can see we've got the 
uh, Sonari Enlightener here, which is a, a new figure, which is the head of our Lumineth uh, band. And then we've got the Blade Lords, very nice melee weaponed swordsmen there. The Cavalry, our Dawn Riders, very nice figures. Sentinels with these bows that have kind of three strings at the top, which must be very hard to draw back. Imagine that. And that's got a high sentinel, which has a, a bird flying off. Here's our Kersling, with the torso coming out. Charming. Uh, we've got the Acolytes, the Kyderic Adel Acolytes. I've got some of these uh, that came from in Silver Tower. In fact, there were some quite a few cinch figures in there. I had these guys as well, the Tsangors. So I've painted these up for before. These are, take quite a lot, long time to paint because there's a lot of detail in the armour, as you can see. So they're quite fiddly to paint. Nice uh, standard bearer here. And here we have the Enlightened, who are on the discs of Cinch. And they're rather nice figures. Some great photography. Then we've got the uh, special rules for this particular uh, section of the realm. And then we get on to our battle plans. As I said, three battle plans, so you could play this out. And I've really got to do this, now that I've got a few of these data sets, I really want to paint them up and just try these little sequences of battle plans and, and see if it, you know, it gets this nice narrative feel. Of course, unit cards for all those units. Or unit information. And your pitch battle profile, so your points and unit size and all that kind of stuff. So here are the figures themselves. Now, these took quite a long time to actually build. Uh, a few nights, because uh, they're pretty fiddly, um, but very nice detailed figures. Here's our Enlightened. I choose to use the head with the helm, but you can have a bare head as well. As you can see, quite spectacular leader figure. Very nice. Love this little base here. Here we've got our 10 Sentinels, which are these lovely bowmen and women. And with this great leader, who's got the bird flying off from their hand. And these are quite fiddly. You've got to be careful, especially the blades at the start. The blades, the arrows, the arrowheads at the start. That's quite fragile. So be very careful when removing these from the sprue, because you can see there's lots of very fragile bits. All the arms and everything are separate. So uh, you really want to take your time building these particular ones. I found them particularly fiddly, but beautiful figures, as you can see. And massed together in a group they look quite spectacular here are our blade lords and beautiful classic kind of elf elegant figures with long swords and then the dawn riders very nice mounted figures these ones very dynamic real sense of speed there and a beautiful standard bearer just gorgeous figures i mean it really actually want makes me want to get a a Lumineth army together because I think when these are painted up they'll really look beautiful on the tabletop. Here's our Kersling and doesn't he look horrible with that creature coming out of his torso? Very nice figure. The detail on these cinch figures is just amazing. All the little decorations and everything are quite beautiful. These are the Kyric Acolytes. Got a very nice um, fellow there with a scroll. There's also one here who's also got a, a bird creature launching himself from his hand which is very nice and they're just great melee figures as you can see with really wicked looking blades uh, and decorated shields you can see all the shields are individual there's actually 20 of those so a good chunk of, of uh, melee figures there here are Tsangors a beautiful uh, standard bearer figure this one and a musician a champion and then, of course, seven other figures in that unit. Beautifully detailed. And then finally, this stunning Enlightened, Sango Enlightened on Discs of Cinch. All the three discs are different. They've got different things going on underneath to hold them up. Um, all kinds of things. This guy's got like two little creatures hanging off it. It's fish-like flying creatures holding, it up, holding them up. And as you can see, beautiful, especially this one here, which is quite stunning. As you can see, the amount of detail on that armour is really, really something. And all their weapons have eyes and symbols of cinch on them. Beautiful. Well, there you have it. A look at what you get in Arcane Cataclysm, which is the latest Warhammer Age of Sigmar set. As you can see, an impressive number of figures 
and two very ornate and elegant looking armies, though one is the bad guys and one is the good guys. And I think both of these armies would be very colourful and beautiful looking on the tabletop. I think this is quite a lovely starter set if you're interested in either of these armies or if you want to get started in Age of Sigma for the first time. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. This is the Esoteric Order of Gamers. Go and visit orderofgamers.com. I've got a Warhammer Age of Sigma rule summary there for you to download, which will make your games a lot easier to play. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the all notifications button, visit me on all the socials. I'll see you there. Bye for now and good gaming.